guys, Prodigy Matthews here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys over 4 ways in order to get sand dollars in Prodigy. So sand dollars are the currency used by Athena in Summerfest, and as all of you know, Summerfest has arrived. In order how to get sand dollars is Kai. Kai runs the Wheel of Sun. Now from this wheel, what you guys do is you click the spin button and it will spin around. Now over here, you guys can see that one out of these 10 rewards is a sand dollar. This is 25 sand dollars sewn in a single image. Now it happens to be that when you guys spin the wheel, you have a 1 in 10 chance of getting 25 sand dollars. Suppose if you're lucky, you guys will get 25 sand dollars, which is 2.5 battles or approximately 25 battles worth of sand dollar. Spinning this wheel, you guys can get yourself a maximum of 5 battles of sand dollars or 50 battles. So this is probably the first thing which you guys want to spend. You guys can get up to 50 sand dollars. Which is enough to buy like 5 or 6 items or like... Guys, over here it seems like that the Dragonox gear costs us approximately 50 sand dollars. So from just 2 lucky spins off the wheel, you guys can get yourself the Dragonox helmet. Which is one of the strongest items in the game coming in at a heart bonus of 4. But yeah, heart bonus of 4, that is not too bad at all. That is quite nice. So yeah, that's basically one way where you guys... Now, the next thing which dancing sign. The dancing sign says, Some new creatures have been spotted stealing food from Summerfest celebrations. Once a day, you must find one and chase it away from all the food. In exchange, you'll get a ton of sand dollars. Right, now by a ton of sand dollars, they mean 10 sand dollars. Now, from this, what you do is you explore around Lamplight Town and search for Applots. Now, Applots are creatures which are only available during Lamp, during Summerfest, right? You cannot find them in any other zone. Or any other, uh, or any other area during any other time of the year. They're exclusively available to only Summerfest. That's the only place where I've been able to find them. Or that's what I found from my sources, which is basically the Prodigy Wiki handle. And probably not watching like a couple YouTubers' videos about. So yeah, so you basically have to explore around all of Lamplight Town and search for Applots. Once you find the Applots, defeat the creature. Now guys, don't worry, even if you lose to the creature, you will not lose your sand dollars. Do you guys know why? Well, that's because the creature will not leave. You have to just... Now, these are basically two ways on how to get them, right? From the wheel spin, you guys can see over here I got 25 sand dollars and we can buy using that. Alright guys, so let me quickly just find the apple and battle it. Alright guys, so over here you guys can see we run into battle against the Applots. Now, if you guys want to, you guys should catch the Applot if you guys don't have it already equipped. And if you guys do well, you have no reason to show it mercy. Just finish up the monster, take the 10 sand dollars, and maybe you may get some coins if you like. Um, open the member chest. But yeah, just take all of your money and go back to my flight time. Right, so now guys, I've already showed you guys two ways from which you guys can get this. Third way which you guys can obtain, um, now a third way from which you guys can obtain sand dollars is by doing monster battles. Right guys, so this means every single monster battle which you guys do against every single monster or boss will be rewarded with a sand dollar for every monster which you defeat. That means if you do a one person monster battle, you get one sand dollar. Two person monster battle, two sand dollar. Three person monster battle, three sand dollar. One boss battle, one sand dollar, right? So you guys can see if it works like that. So this is what I'm getting at by like 50 battles. If you guys got 50 sand dollars from spinning the wheel, that is the equivalent of doing 50 battles worth of grinding, right? You just got 50 battles in just two spins, right? Or five battles. Now five battles would take five days, so it's kind of kind of crazy. That's like a lot of sand dollars for a very little amount of time. Right now, just to show you guys, this works in every single zone, although... Every single zone. Wait, could this potentially work in Harmony Island? Wait, no, 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 wait, no. That's not what I meant to say. Could this potentially work in the Harmony Arena, where we get sand dollars for every battle which we finish in the arena? Could this be like a new way of getting sand dollars and going up in the arena? 
So now that we've casted our supernova, I think that the enemy team will be defeated or reduced to amount of health where they'll have to retreat. So once the enemy team retreats, you'll see we'll get ourselves two sand dollars. Now two sand dollars, that's not too much, but still, we got two sand dollars, so it proves that in every zone where you go, you guys can get sand dollars for every battle with defeat. Now this also applies in the Dark Tower, although I do not know whether or not this works in the arena. So we're going to be testing out if, if, by chance if this works in the arena, this is going to be absolutely huge. Alright guys, so let's go into the arena and see if we get sand dollars for finishing off a battle. Alright guys, so for the moment of truth, will we get sand dollars for battling in the arena? Alright guys, so after seeing it, it does seem like that we will get no sand dollars from battling in the arena. So it means we must either choose a battle in the arena and reach gold one in like 30 days, or play in Summerfest which will only come around once in a year. So if you ask me, I'd recommend you guys play in Summerfest because the arena, most people, it can wait. It's going on for 100 days. I think it will, like, wait, what is it? 109, 108 days? Yeah, it seems like it will be September 2. It seems like it will be the 28th of September when the arena season ends. So it's going to be quite a while. So I'm pretty sure you have a lot of time, but Summerfest, it's going to end soon. Fortunately, it seems like we cannot get coins from the arena. Now, there is one other way where you guys can get yourself sand dollars, and that is from Diner Day Oasis. For the Diner Day Oasis thing to work, what you need is you just need your museum to be completely full. When your museum is completely full, you guys will be good to go. And over here, you guys can see my museum is everything but full. There's still a lot of things which I have to collect, so it won't really work out too well. But if you guys had a full museum, well, then it would work well. Well, this over here is more of a challenge, like, you guys have to, like, be fast and stuff for this one. Give, um... Give the wolf standing over there 300 gold and start digging. Start digging festivals. You guys have a chance of obtaining yourselves sand dollars. And, of course, because you are art, and now, of course, because you're digging in the sand, you guys will... Don't expect too many sand dollars. Expect, like, maybe one or two, but this would be, like, the most boss level way of saying oh i got the dragon ox here everyone yeah everyone did i got it after mining and dino dig oasis and getting 50 of these sand dollars like that would be so crazy like just saying oh i have the dragon ox here everyone yeah that's nice i got it after like digging up sand dollars in like dino dig oasis now of course this is hard and it's a game of chance but you guys know once you have 99 items of everything it makes it a little bit easier to get them now, of course, you guys can't have 99... Wait. Yeah, now, of course, you guys can't have 99 items of everything. But still, it's quite cool. I don't think Prodigy allows that 99 items of currency would kind of, like, just block everything. Although, I'm pretty sure I have, like, a, a couple... 10 or 20 relic rings, that's quite nice. Now, as observed, you can notice that most of the attempts in which the museum is not filled won't bear fruit. So obviously, you guys don't have the museum, well, this is a double-bladed sword. You guys can finish up the museum while getting gold, while getting sand dollars. So that's basically a thing which you can do. I think that's gonna be all for this video. Please scroll down to this video and make sure you're subscribed. It really helped my channel out a lot, and more people will be able to find out my awesome Prodigy videos.